Hi, I'm Nathaniel Newland, Assistant Education Director here at Discovery Park of America, and I'm here with Jack Garrett, our natural history intern, and we're going to tell you about Earth Science Week, which is a worldwide event hosted by the American Geosciences Institute. This is the 23rd year they've hosted it, and as always, Discovery Park is participating in this worldwide event, and, and how we're doing that is we're, every day for this week, we are going to post uh, some virtual educational content to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Uh, Jack here will be hosting all of those lessons, and each lesson will include an activity that you can do at home with materials that you can find in your grocery store or a hardware store. Uh, but I'm going to turn it over to Jack now for the first lesson, but I really hope you all enjoy Earth Science Week and all this week has to offer. Hello, this is Jack Garrett with uh, Discovery Park, your host for Earth Science Week. And today I'm going to be guiding you through a lesson that mimics how paleontologists clean their fossil specimens. And first, I'm going to take off my mask so you can hear me better. So the materials that you'll need is primarily this plaster of Paris, which you can find in your hardware store, uh, some plastic cups like this, and uh, a face mask that you can put on if you're afraid of inhaling any of this plaster here. So what you do first is that you obtain one of these plastic cups and fill it with two parts plaster. And then you'll add one part water and one part soil. When you begin mixing this, you will notice that the, uh, that the texture is roughly about the same in mashed potatoes. This is exa exactly what you want and is correct. Once you have your mixture prepared, obtain another plastic cup and begin pouring your mixture in. About halfway in, add a couple of shells and then pour in the rest of your mixture. After a day of hardening, which is what we recommend, you will have something that looks like this. Once you, once you have this mixture ready, you're going to remove it and you'll have something like this. Once it has reached this stage, feel free to begin using your craft sticks and your paintbrushes to begin chipping pieces of way, pieces away of your plaster. The goal is to have your shells completely exposed. And once you have your shells completely exposed, take your brush and begin brushing away some of the finer particles of plaster. And so here I've got a couple of fossils that I've obtained from the Coon Creek Formation in McNary County, Tennessee. These two specimens have been identified as Cuculea vulgaris and Terra trigonia thoracica, which is the Tennessee state fossil. These two fossils are marine bivalves, which may raise the question, how did these, how did these get in Tennessee? Well, 72 million years ago, this would place these fossils in the late Cretaceous period. And during the late Cretaceous, the Mississippi River Valley was covered in ocean water. This means it allowed for marine organisms to freely traverse the land that we have today. 